Hello there, it's Tanmay, back for another video. Um, this time we're going to be covering a topic on SQL Server 2008. Well, it was going to be 2008, but then once I realized that I couldn't get 2008 at the moment, I decided to do it for 2012. So, um, I'm sorry I couldn't get another video up for quite a while. Um, the problem was, uh, I newly partitioned my Mac, and it was a little hassle to find all the videos that I, um, once made. I could only recover a few, but I posted those, which is the copying machine for VB, and the intersection finder thing. Uh, so those two are the new parts of my VB tutorials. Now let's get on to the main thing that we're doing in this video. And also I have a new uh, screen recorder, so I won't be making anything in parts. And it should be much better. So number one, here we are in Windows. Uh, what we want to do first, start, find um, SQL Server Management Studio. That's what I'm just going to get here. Should be here. Uh, if you can't find it, what I do is I just um, search. And then here we are SQL Server Management Studio 2012. Um, I don't need that currently. Um, yeah, so I'm actually using a Mac right now, but um, it might be a little slow because I'm accessing my Windows computer from here. I couldn't get a good screen recorder for my Windows computer. So here we are. Um, I'm logging into my SQL Server 2012 uh, Management Studio Connect. Now, um, the first command I'm going to teach you here is the select command. Now, what you want to do first is you want to go new query. Now in SQL uh, Server 2012 and uh, a few versions back, you have a querying window as well as a GUI interface, a GUI interface, so graphical user interface. So um, instead of uh, going ahead and going use database or uh, whatever your database name is what you can do here is you can go into one of your databases and then you can use them from there or that was something different but um, you you have this uh, GUI interface which makes it makes quite a lot of a difference in trying to find stuff it makes it basically makes your experience with the software much easier so if you didn't remember what the database name was boom you just go to uh, databases you expand databases and you check which database it was so it's sort of like a dictionary um so what you want to do here is number one we want to select something from let's say the um the eye cream table okay so what we're gonna do is number one uh, you might be you might be new to this but we will um, get to this later um the first command I'm going to do is use tanme and then we're just I'm just gonna execute that it's uh, saying that um, it successfully switched over to the database Tanme. So now we can access all the tables that I have inside of the database Tanme. Now, uh, this is going to be covered later, but what uh, the first command you're ever going to learn is selecting. Now, let's see what selecting is. First of all, let's say you had a table and you wanted to see every single um, entry in the table. What you would say is select star from table. 
Now, this table is the name of your table. You don't need square brackets. Um, that's just an example. So let's say my um, table well, is eye cream. What I do is I'd say select star from eye cream. Now, one minute, and I'll tell you what this means. What we have here is we have select. So we're selecting something from from the table ice cream eye cream and then here you say what you want now star is a wild card that means everything so give me everything that's in this table but if I just wanted let's say cereal and flavor uh, then what I or just flavor select flavor from eye cream then it just give me the flavor, or I could do flavor as um, ice cream flavor. And then what the as would do is it would give the the column a new name. So let's say you didn't want it to be flavor, but just for that specific um, query. Um, if I remove this. and I execute that again, it's still flavor, that was just a nickname for it. But then what I can do is I can go comma, let's say I want um, the quantity, uh, which I don't, uh, let's just say, what was that, cereal, like, um, SID, flavor in the SID. So now, um, that was the uh, video for uh, querying. Thank you. Uh, please like, comment if you have any questions, um, uh, subscribe mainly, and thank you. Goodbye.